Even you took the piss. Hello, and you know what? You don't know you got took the piss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain myself. You can go on camera too. I'm not you. Yeah, go on. I don't know, but we'll get into this, right? All right. This been an incident where I've been harassed. I also want to follow up this as well. There's something else these fellas need to follow up. Yeah, this. Can you follow this up? It's my harassment thing where the guy's been harassing. Can you follow up this to see how far an investigation you have with this? Are you what's happening with it? Yeah, yes, please. Now, basically, this is the issue today, sir. Uh, you two young man. The issue is this. Um, I was arrested about a week and a half ago mm -hmm. in Lampton Park. Now, my fault. Um, basically, someone called up the police and said a male was chasing them in the park in the fairground. Uh, hold on, in the fairground with a knife. Hold on. So basically, I was arrested because they said a fellow chased someone in the fairground from women and children, and mostly children, because that's what makes up most of the mass of the fairground. And I was chasing them with a knife, and I punched them three times in the face. And uh, the police came, which they should have, if someone makes that kind of thing. And they came, they didn't see a, a knife. No one came forward and said anything. Um, you know, um, they didn't see no marks on the person's face. Um, but they decided to arrest me anyway. Which is, you know what, fair enough. They're allowed to do that, you know, if they feel want enough. But then I thought, this is strange. Why didn't you ask any witnesses why haven't you heard ask the person who organised the affair if there's anyone injured or hurt? Because I'm not being funny or anything, but if there's a madman chasing someone with a knife and, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, punching people in the face, like it's a horror movie, like this sounds like something like Freddy Krueger or Mike Myers or Howdy Warren talk quite, oh, if I'm actually read my own thing, but that's neither here or there. Mm. And, you know, they, they, I said to the police, oh, are you not going to ask any witnesses? Like, you know, ask what happened or ask if anyone's okay, you know. Apparently, I've been chasing someone like, there might be a dead person around the fucking corner for you, you know, a madman running through. Why is it just going off this person's word and you're not asking anyone else who's there? And there's about a good hundred people who are there in the fair. And the police goes, no, no, we don't need to ask anyone. So it really shows that there's incompetence because you're meant to find out when there's a bladed article or an assault uh, issue, especially with the knife thing in London, you're meant to actually ask around to see if anyone else is hurt. There's grounds to arrest someone though, will arrest you. Yeah, but it's a public order. But no, no, you've got to throw in public order because I'm not being funny. You run around with a knife, it's startling to the public. 100%. So this will smash you if you try to say no. You go to, especially with a knife, it'll smash you if did you you're go, dead. Did you go to custody? Yeah, yeah. You, but how long were you there for? To the next day. So they authorised your detention. So it was obviously, yeah, there was and, then, and then what is there odd? Was, there was obviously grounds to arrest you. Because yeah. Otherwise they'd kick you out of custody. Yeah, but I found it fair. But they bail me. I'm on suspended sentence. I'm on license. I'm on all what you ever want to call it. Yeah. And like they bail me out anyway. But I'm thinking, hold on, you didn't bail me out. I'm just a man, and you actually feel there's a slight inkling that I there must be a slight inkling that I could have done this because you not arrest me in the first place. You're gonna let me out five ten minutes from a scene on <laughs> bail. And I've got previews. You can let me out. You really figure you can let me out and it's only five minutes away from the park and I was chasing someone with a knife in there. <laughs> just because there's grounds right. to, if you listen, it's hello, strange. hello. If you listen, if it, just because there's grounds to arrest someone doesn't necessarily mean there's grounds to charge yeah. someone. So that's so, why you get both. Okay, let's give you a tick for this. Let's just say, you know what, you arrest me that day, even though you didn't follow up what you should have done, you should have actually asked someone there if I actually did that. But you know, I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass for that. Let's say say that. that wasn't you know, I, let's just call it what's this called? It's called it what do you call it? Brush under the rug or brush under the carpet. What about that incident of where um, the person made a health and safety hazard and the fire people assessed the place and I was moving some of the stuff out. There's two officers there. I was assaulted in front of the two hold on. I was assaulted in front of the two I was assaulted in front of the two officers. I was told to go back into the room and no one followed that up. But we got it on camera and we got it on the property uh, cameras as well. What about that? No. I, I like you just talking about that. Like, no, let's talk your way out of that one. No, you were able to I, I said, all right, put my hands up, you did alright, and you talk your way out of that one, talk your way out of this one. You then. just asked him to look at that. No, so but I just asked you something else, yeah. Why can't you, you ask question there? Do you want the update? Oh, alright, you changed the subject. I like that one. Go on. It's been closed. It's, doing it's been asked. closed? Why? The person's still harassing me. Because it's to do with rubbish, isn't it? No, it's not to do with rubbish, it's to do with an assault. It's also to do with actually, um, there's actually a biohazard, hold on, hold on, there's a biohazard, it's also to do with assault and the biohazard, there's actually a biohazard law. We you actually not allowed, hold on. No, 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 this is biohazard law. This is actually biohazard law. Because it's to do with feces, it's like someone spits in your face 
Yeah, is to do say someone put some kind of if someone uses this by her don't try to listen this is not going to work because what i explained in there there's biohazard law and there's assault in there and there's also um intimidation and damage of property so let's not you know let's not let's not walk let me let me get the fingers in there as well let's not walk and veer around that yeah there's a biohazard this person is spreading feces there is actual uh, packets of syringe packets there you know, um, please actually yeah, saw it as well. Have you informed I was the council about a biohazard? Because that's your investigation. Yeah, I have, but also, do I have to, in, so, do I have to inform the council yes. about me being assaulted yes. and the police being present? So do I have keep to. You're talking over me when I'm right. trying to answer your question. Well, I'm not talking over you, am I? Sorry, let me so let you have speak. A, let me have let you speak. Have a little bit of respect when one person talks. Yeah, respect is due because you are very professional and competent. Let me give you that respect. Okay. So we've looked into your crime there, and whoever's investigated that has closed the crime, and he's given you the rationale behind it. Mm. A biohazard is not investigated by us, it's mm. investigated by the council, mm. who deal with sort of waste and things like that. Mm. Okay, so we can't, we mm. can't investigate Well, that. open up the wall. Basically, you must have been a bit, uh, maybe there's a bit wet behind the ears, or maybe I didn't communicate in good English, because, you know, I'm not proper, I'm born here, but I'm not fully English heritage, so maybe there's a miscommunication issue, right? I did explain to them before I was assaulted, but let me do it again. Let's open it up again. And we're going to open up that assault claim of when the two officers were standing. We got cameras in the property. We got it on the phone recorded. They told me to go in. They didn't follow it up. Let's, let's have a look at that one now. Let's reopen this because maybe I just was speaking in rude boy or something. You didn't understand me that time when I explained it. Let's open this up again and start this again. You know, maybe I was speaking in rude boy that time. You didn't understand. I was assaulted in front of two officers. They told me to go back in the room by that same fella. Let's start again. Or is it, I'm not allowed to say, if I get hurt, I've got to walk out, I've got to keep it to myself, you know, I'm strong, I've got big, you know. Uh, no, but you said that it's to do with biohazard, it's closed. I said I was assaulted. So you're closing the assault case. What's going on? Well, we've got to open a new one then. We've got to open up a new one then. Or is it not, is it not a big deal? Maybe it's not a big deal that I was assaulted in front of two officers. We don't, we don't put another report for the same crime. No, we, what? We this is actually see, concurrent. This actually happens over a period of days. We can, we can look at the one that's already been No, 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 no. Because you said it's just to do with biohazard just now. You said there's no mention of assault. No, I remember no one, that. No one said that. Yeah, you did. You said biohazard is only dealt with with the council. We've council. closed it. That's the reason why. You're saying... Uh, You've made an allegation of a crime which has been recorded on the system there. I'm telling you, as part of that, the biohazard part of it is not investigated by us. But there's still a crime report on. We wouldn't stick a crime report on for a biohazard. So obviously you've reported something else originally, haven't you, which we could look at. There's now. a number of things. I've reported things four or five times, but you lot don't actually do anything about it. But what do you think it's all based on when you report a crime? It's all evidence, isn't it? Yeah, but we've got cameras. We got, I've got phone cameras of neighbours. I've got, but it's really weird. You say you don't need that information. Some really weird reason, like when I came back in here, other times I go, oh, we know we got camera like stuff, like uh, it's property. I've got camera stuff on here. They're like, oh no, no, we don't need it. We'll get in touch with you, but you don't get in touch with me, and you just close it down. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, God, look at that. Even he's like, fuck it up. You got fucked up. Hey, listen, yeah, let's just do this properly. Reopen it again. I don't know. Listen, I do some work for the BBC sometimes. Yeah, Sunday brunch show. I'm not just talking like I'm drugs. Like, oh, just making this up. We could send it to them. All this stuff, or I can send it to you. Which one? No, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. No, it's basically because I don't know where I'm where. I'm, I'm trying to achieve me getting, you know, this sorted out. I'm saying if you can't help me, maybe I should go to a different infrastructure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to help me with this assault case or no? My yes or no? My colleague told you about that. I Do you know. want the camera evidence and the evidence from the property to help you in this actual investigation? Because there's an actual assault and use. And I'm saying, because that's big words, me saying there's two officers there who watched me get assaulted and told me to go back in the room. That's big words, what I'm saying. Who's the OSC on that? That's big words I'm saying there. So you just, if you stop talking a second, we'll try and say Yeah, sorry about that. I'm being intimidating right. and aggressive talking about no, my no victim. No one said you're intimidating. You're definitely not intimidating, yeah. so don't worry about that. Yeah. Magnet, hmm? uh, Right. What's the solvability assessment on there? Solvability assessment is... You know, there's assault, there's false accusations towards me, there's let harassment. Try, let us try and sort this for you. Harassment, there's all types of fucking charges, but you just keep kind of downplaying. I can't hear what he's saying. I'm trying to get this opened up again for you now. I can't hear what he's saying. It sounds like they're downplaying everything that's happened to me, including assault, um, including what's he got, false accusations of me. They're downplaying it. And they're also even telling me they do not want me to even give my evidence. 
Imagine that. They don't even want me to give the evidence. And then they, they actually then send back to me and say, oh, um, there's nothing to investigate. So basically, they close the claim, they close it down before I'm able to give them actual evidence. That's very odd behaviour. It's either incompetence or preference of who they want to help in the community. It's either, it's either the two. There's only two options in this one. And they have to pick one at the end of this when it all comes down. It's either incompetence oh, or preference. Right now, oh, sorry, I'm not actually, I'm not delegating to you. Go on. You're not delegating to me? What do you mean? No, I wasn't delegating. talking. I was talking. You can see my mouth is aimed there, my eyes. If I was talking like that, I'm, I'm explain, discouraged. Obviously, obviously, you're recording, so I'm just trying to explain that we're trying to help you here. Yeah, I know. You have to show this air of professionalism get, get in this that on bullshit. The camera as well, that we're trying to help you, and then that's brilliant, isn't it? And then you can, you can tell everyone that we've helped you today. Yeah. Rather than bad mouthers and then walk away and say the police don't. Oh, so he's saying the facts is bad mouthing. Yeah, All it's right. Just, it's not well, you, you, need you, you, you need a praise man. You you need a praise man, don't every you? Every time it's like a broken record, honestly. Yeah, because you need a praise man. All right, you're doing a good job. There, you got it. You're doing a good no, job. You're excellent. I've been on YouTube, I'm like famous now, literally, for being on YouTube for people bad mouthing me. Yeah, but I ain't coming with that rude boy bullshit. I'm coming with shit with fuck shit up. Okay. Is it all to do with your neighbour? Yeah, he's even followed me is in he times. Still, hey, listen, still your okay, I'm going to say one thing as well. Is he this still one, your neighbour hey, now? You no, know, there's even one thing where he actually, he basically said he was drunk once, yeah? He actually touched me near the groin, yeah? But I'm only going to pull it, and he actually admits it that he actually touched me near the groin. He said I was a bit drunk, yeah? And he said, look, I didn't mean it and stuff, but that's really, that's really the wild card I could actually pull out if I really want to fucking bring the whole bird thing down. Yeah, like, right? No, but then we're not going to bring that on. I'm just using what I've got for now. Are you going to listen or... Are you going to listen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is the neighbour. That's the what. That's the that's called the... And fucking, what evidence that's do you have? Do you don't listen for no? the next 10 seconds yeah. and I'll escort you out of the station. Oh yeah, because I'm being aggressive. So no, you're not being aggressive. You're just not listening. All right. Okay. Yeah. So if you use your ears and listen, then I'll try and help you. Yeah. Sorry for being a naughty boy and reporting something what's okay. happened. Well, sorry, I, sorry, I should have been a vigilante and took it into my own hands. You just Go. listen. You stop talking. Thank you. What evidence do you have of this assault that you're alleging? No, I have Is it readily available right now to look at? You can go to my uh, property. Get in HD. Okay, is it something can, you can, uh, is it something you can burn off and bring to the station for us? So I got oh, so I've got to do this kind of work myself. I like that too. I've got to jump through hoops to give you evidence. Why can't you, just as easy as it was to call me from that park and embarrass me in front of everyone, why can't you take that little trip what's the same distance to my property and get the recording because, there? Because we've got calls oh. to go to. Oh yeah, you've got important things to and do. You're saying That's my already, shit ain't important. You're all saying you've already recorded this, so I'm trying to throw your phone in and help you out. If you've got a genuine yeah, claim, like dog. If you've got a genuine claim that, you're phone. Being, that you've been assaulted, then we will look into it. But if the evidence isn't readily available right now, I can't drive well, you somewhere there. and go and pick it up. So the best bet for you is to come here with the evidence, and then we can make a report, can't we? Well, we can start off with the two officers. Well, there's two officers in here who's on camera when I got assaulted, so we can start off with that if you want. Okay, is that... <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. You know that sounded fucking jazzy. You know that sounded fucking jazzy, though. Is that that sounded right? fucking jazzy. Yeah, Have of course. Of course, right and I, and obviously, yes. And I've got, um, what do you call it? Other neighbours have that as well. Um, it's on the actual... Because we've got property... We've got um, cameras on the property as well. That's there as well. Freaking, I even got threatening message from that same person as well. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is basically what shows why I can't give the government money as much because I'm in other stress and you lot ain't that's sorting it out. Right, have you taken the advice from Paul? So you're going to go away, get that, and then come back? Yeah? No, 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 no. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call the police on um, basically. I've told you, I have. Listen, no, listen, listen. I actually feel fair for Can I be home? honest? I feel fearful now. Are going up and down there because you know this guy, yeah. You know when I was actually there, it's harassment. Well, I actually told the police. You do know this guy was creeping around the bushes, and I put it on camera. He's actually creeping around the bushes, very close to me, and I find that odd because in the public, the most closest person towards me, near me, was like a hundred meters away. But he decides to come ten meters behind me, acting weird and stuff. And that's actually how the whole incident came with me chasing him. Because I said to the police, yeah, I did chase the fellow. That's how it all stemmed from. But when I was... T this is an ongoing harassment case. Really, you should have looked into it thinking, hold on, this guy's saying that he's chasing him because he's been getting harassed. If you like, was competent, you'd be like, right, let's look in the system. Oh, fucking hell. Stop. Three, four times we had to caution... Hold on. Three, four times we cautioned the same fella 
who who said that I'm trying to chase him with a knife for telling you know this guy's been cautioned to leave me alone. If he, if he decides to take out an order, this guy's been cautioned. Him, I've come here to do that, but you lot, yeah, you, you I uh, come here to a, do that's that. A, that's a civil. Thing. I come here to do that, but you lot, I tell you lot to just to keep him away from me. See, you're making it out as if I'm not going through the right steps and method here, right? And what? That's the best step to take. You know, oh, I got on camera. You know what the police actually told me to do? They told me to, whenever I leave the house, I've got to record where I go. Can you listen? That's on camera. I'm trying to give you some crime prevention advice here. Yeah. 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 All right? It's hard to prove harassment. Very hard. All right? Even if you've got on camera, someone's listening to me. Listen. It's very hard to prove harassment. Even if you've got it on camera, someone being near you, it doesn't prove their intent, it doesn't prove what they're doing. Even if someone's, listen throwing, to me, bag, even if someone's throwing the listen. contents of a bin bag at you and you've got it on camera. Can you listen? Oh, yeah. Right, you don't listen, do you? This is a problem. Yeah, especially when it's nonsense. It's not nonsense. My best advice to you is to go to the county court and take out a restraining order against your neighbour, which carries a power of arrest. So he doesn't even have to prove, you don't even have to prove that he's done anything. Then you just call us and we can go and arrest him. But what him. about the assault of him actually attacking me in front of the police? Okay, that's a bit more and important. I've, and I've given you advice on that, which is go home, get the evidence,